Hey everyone! In this tutorial, we're going to build a beautiful responsive card slider using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It'll look clean, modern, and fully interactive perfect for team profiles, portfolios, or product showcases. Let's dive in step by step. We create a section with the class slider container, which will wrap everything. Inside it, we add a div with the class card slider and an ID of slider. This will act as the track that holds all the cards. Each card is built inside a div with class card. First, we have an IMG tag for the profile picture. Then a H2 heading for the name. A P tag for the job title or description. And finally, a button labeled message. We repeat this card structure for five different people, changing the image, name, and role for each one. After the cards, we add two buttons. The left button has class BTN Prev and uses the HTML entity for a left arrow. The right button has class button next and uses for the right arrow. These will let users navigate through the slider. That's the full HTML structure. Now we'll style it beautifully with CSS. We start by resetting default margins and paddings on all elements and use box sizing, border box, for easier sizing control. For the body, we set a modern sans serif font. The background uses an image called degrade.jpg, stretched to cover the whole screen. Add padding, and make the height full screen. We center everything both vertically and horizontally with Flexbox. The slider container is relative positioned, and limited to 700 pixels max width, so it looks neat on all screens. The card slider uses Flexbox to align cards side by side with a 20 pixel gap. We enable horizontal scrolling with smooth behavior and completely hide the scroll bar for a clean look. Each card has a fixed width and height. We give it a frosted glass effect using a semi-transparent background with backdrop filter. Blur 10 pixels. It's centered with Flexbox and has smooth transition effects for interactivity. The image is 70 by 70 pixels, circular with border radius 50%, and has a semi-transparent white border to stand out.
The name uses a bold heading, the role uses lighter text, and the button has a frosted glass style with subtle borders. Simple but elegant. The navigation buttons are placed vertically in the center, with no background by default. When clicked, they get a darker background for feedback. We position the left button on the left side and the right button on the right. And for smaller screens, we slightly reduce card size to fit better. Let's make it functional with JavaScript. First, we grab references to our slider track, all the cards, and the previous and next buttons. This function calculates how much we need to scroll when a button is clicked. It takes the card width plus the gap between cards. Next, we create a function that shows or hides the navigation buttons depending on the scroll position. If we're at the start, the left button disappears. If we're at the end, the right button disappears. Finally, we add click listeners to the buttons. The next button scrolls the slider forward. The previous button scrolls it back. After each scroll, we update the button visibility. And that's it. We've built a fully functional, responsive card slider with a frosted glass effect, smooth scrolling, and interactive buttons. This design is reusable for teams, portfolios, or even product showcases. Try customizing the cards with your own images and roles to make it yours. See you in the next one.